So today, Rachel asked, my question would be how to cope with self-doubt. Intermittent, stealthy, surprising, and deadly self-doubt. Well, I would tell you, Rachel, but I don't know if I would do it right. Um, seriously, this is something we all deal with every single day, and this is one of the few places where I tell clients to act as if. Act as if you had no self-doubt. So you're not going to be able to get rid of it. What I would do is as you approach a task, like I do this every day when I write, you have to get to the point where you pretend that you have no self-doubt sufficiently to get through the task. And then as soon as you're done, you can go right back into self-doubt if you want and, and just curl up in, a, in the fetal position. That's what I do. But self-doubt is just a companion. Just make it a companion that doesn't dictate your choices. Pretend you have no self-doubt, then act, then feel. Good luck.